The Mach 10 Mystery. Is the SR-72 Dark Star from Top Gun Maverick real? Lockheed Martin's SR-72, also known as the Son of Blackbird, is one of aerospace's most hotly anticipated programs. In May, a fictional craft, allegedly similar to the SR-72 named Dark Star, appeared in Top Gun Maverick. Early in the film, which has become 2022's highest grossing, Tom Cruise's character pilots the Dark Star in an attempt to hit Mach 10 speeds. The scene was created with direct assistance from Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works Lab, the same team responsible for the SR-72. According to Lockheed Martin's website, we partnered with the Top Gun Maverick Films creative team to collaborate on bringing our expertise and hypersonic capabilities and aircraft design to the big screen. Lockheed teased it whether the Dark Star or the aircraft's technological features was real or not. With the Skunk Works expertise in developing the fastest known aircraft, combined with a passion and energy for defining the future of aerospace, Dark Star's capabilities could be more than mere fiction. They could be reality. So, was Dark Star reality? Was the Dark Star really a preview of the SR-72 Son of Blackbird? It's entirely possible, but the program is shrouded in secrecy, and very little is known to the public. The super cool Mach 6 Wonder is still in the testing phases, but should be rolled out for initial flight demonstrations by no later than 2023, according to Jeff Spry. But with a tight lid on its stealthy creation, it actually might have already taken to the air without the general public being aware. The so-called Son of Blackbird's developmental program has been cloaked in secrecy since whispers of its genesis swirled around the aviation industry 10 years ago. Maybe, sneakily, Lockheed gave us all a glimpse of the actual SR-72 in Top Gun. Uh, here's what we know about the aircraft so far. The SR-72 is a hypersonic UAV concept designed for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. Lockheed proposed the new jet in 2013 to address the coverage gap that the SR-71 retirement left lingering between surveillance satellites, aircraft, and UAVs. While the SR-71, with its missile-evading missile -evading speed, had gone out of fashion by the turn of the century in favor of stealth fighters and satellites, the emergence of increasingly sophisticated air defense systems and anti-satellite technology has weapons designers reverting back to old yet improved doctrines. Although simple in concept, maybe a jet that is simply too fast to defend against has value in the modern geopolitical realm. To power the SR-72 at speeds in excess of Mach 6, Lockheed has been partnering with Aerojet Rocketdyne. The team is developing an SR-72 engine from the scramjet-powered HV-3X. The SR-72 will likely feature an air-breathing hypersonic propulsion system. The hope is that one engine can power the SR-72 in all phases of flight, from subsonic, supersonic, to hypersonic speeds. Creating an aircraft that can handle Mach 6 speeds is technically challenging. At speeds above Mach 5, aerodynamic heating creates temperatures so hot that conventional metal airframes melt. So engineers will have to be tasked with finding a high-performance material for the SR-72 that can withstand the temperatures that the plane's max speed will create. The end result will likely include carbon, ceramics, and mixtures of other metals to create a skin similar to those used on intercontinental ballistic missiles and the space shuttle. Whether the SR-72 will carry a weapons payload remains unclear. U.S. war planners have expressed interest in procuring a hypersonic strike platform, but currently no payload exists that could be deployed at Mach 6 speeds. New weapons and new sensors will probably need to be created to allow the SR-72 to deploy weapons. Well, here's what the experts have told 1945. I'm not exactly sure if this plane will truly ever fly and feels more like a publicity stunt than an actual 21st century spy plane, explained an aviation industry executive with decades of experience in an interview conducted on Background with 1945. Now, could it happen? Sure. I know Lockheed has the tech to pull it off. I just don't think the U.S. military is that interested. Well, here's the bottom line. Lockheed hopes to have the SR-72 in the air 
before 2025 and in service by the 2030s. In the meantime, aviation enthusiasts will have to continue speculating, combing the internet for updates, or watching Top Gun Maverick, which may or may not feature a cameo from Lockheed's mysterious hypersonic jet.